now we come to the actual base okay till now whatever we had done that has formed a solid basis of what we'll be doing and then it is a two step proof to base base actually deals with the reverse probability okay the reverse probability for example till now we had done that that suppose the last question that we do that you do this and you do that and then you draw something and then you note and then you put something back then you put something back then what happens then you find its probability it's not that now now it will do this that maybe we are interested in this kind of problem that maybe there are three machines which manufacture bolts okay and and say the 40% of the whole output is produced by one and 30% by one or, or 25% by one and 35% by the third and they their probability uh, the the rate of error the probability of error with which they they produce the bolts maybe is say 1% 2% 3% now what you do out of a pile of bolts you pick up one bolt and you see that it is defective from which machine it would have come or what is the probability that it came from machine 1 what is the probability it came from machine 2 and what is the probability it came from machine 3 so that is a reverse probability correct okay this is the reverse probability so something has happened I want to go back to that sample space from which it came to that partition from which it came okay so 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 the theorem says that the theorem says that let e1 e2 en form a partition partition is a very technical term you understand now okay those three conditions have to be satisfied or form a partition of of the sample space space s obviously such that e1 union e2 union e n is equal to s and t even they are obviously non zero sets so t e i is greater than zero and e i intersection e j is equal to phi for i not equal to j i not equal to j okay then we want to find this p e i such that a has happened so an event a has already happened an event a has already happened and we want to we want to know what is the probability what is the probability that it came from this partition or that okay so we want to find P E I such that A has happened. Okay. So an event A has happened. So whatever has happened, I'll term it as A while we are doing base. So always be at the lookout. They'll say, uh, this is boys, there are hostlers, there are day scholars, and this and that, and probability of passing them is that, this, that, this, that. And finally I pick up a boy, he has he has passed in first division. What is the probability that he's a hostler? So what has happened? I have picked up a boy who has passed in first division. So that becomes my A. Whatever has occurred is A. Okay. And that it came from a particular partition. So we, what we what we are doing, what we are trying to do, what we are trying to do, the reverse thing that we are trying to do is this. That this is our sample space. These are our partitions. Okay. And something has happened 
okay some some a has happened now now i'll say from which partition it came what is the probability that it came from partition this what is the probability that it came from this partition okay so this red thing has occurred and what is the probability that it came from this or this or this or this or this or this okay that is the reverse probability so this what whatever it will be that will uh, not right right now we'll prove it we'll see what it is we are actually not proving we are just trying to explore so so i say p e i such that a is what p e i intersection intersection a upon p a is it not e i is what one of those events one of those partitions be very clear about it so e e1 is one of those partitions and they'll follow all those three properties of partitions and additionally that summation of them will be one now what is this p e i intersection a is what p a such that e i is p a intersection e i upon p i p e i right so it is the same thing see okay so what i substitute is instead of this i substitute p e i into p p e i intersection a okay clear hai eh? here we we substitute the direct probability that what is the probability of that event such that such that e1 has happened that i know is it not and the formula gives me that leeway you'll ask me you could ask me why didn't you use this formula why why can't i use this i just cannot use this because this is what i am trying to find out this i don't know in the first place okay but this i know <coughs> this is known to me correct so and another thing that is known to me is this this comes from theorem on total probability that we just derived what is pa pa is nothing but pe1 into pa such that e1 hmm? plus pe2 into p a such that e2 plus till p e n into p a such that e n correct this i know this i know and that is the base theorem so it says what it says that p e i such that a is equal to p e i into p a such that e i upon summation summation i is equal to 1 to n p e i into p a such that e i get it hmm? now if you permit me to do a question i'll do it and i'll do it even if you don't permit me so so it's it's uh, it'll be it'll be easy to understand for you uh, which question should i do tell me any hmm? is the factory which manufactures both manufactures bolts machines a b and manufactures should i do that hmm? 
which which should I do? In a factory? Hmm? In a factory? Oh, so so let me do it here. So in a factory, machines A B C machines A B C manufacture bolts. Bolts manufacture bolts manufacture respectively how much 25 35 and 40 25 percent 35 percent and 40 percent of the bolts bolts of their outputs bolts of their outputs oh. of their outputs Five percent, then four and two, four percent and two percent respectively are defective. Are defective bolts? Okay. Are defective bolts? A bolt is drawn at random from the product. A bolt is drawn at random and is from the product and is found to be defective yeah. and is found defective fine what else what is the probability that it came from yeah what is the probability that it is manufactured by the machine what is the probability that it was manufactured by by machine B. Fine. Okay. So what has happened? I have picked up a bolt, and the bolt is found to be defective. See. So you should always always do that. So uh, a it is and is found defective. Okay. So A is what what has happened? Bolt defective. Bolt is defective. Correct. Bolt is defective. I'll partition it. Okay, the bolt is defective. That is A. What is E1? From machine one. Huh? Manufactured, Manufactured by machine A. What is E2? What is E2? That manufactured by machine B. What is E3? Manufactured by machine C. Manufactured by machine C. Okay. Now, if you have that, I am supposed to do what? That it has been manufactured by machine B. So, what am I supposed to find? P E2, E2 such that A. Okay. And that is equal to what? P E2 into P A such that E2 upon P E1 into P A such that E1 into, oh, sorry, sorry, plus P E2 into P A such that E2 plus P E3 into P A such that E3. Right. Now just try to think what is PE1? PE1 is it manufactures 25 percent. So 25 upon 100. PE2 is 35 upon 100. PE3 is 40 upon 100. Okay. Then you should also find what is P A such that E1. That means now, now you should you should you should speak that in your mind. Probability that the bolt is defective such that it was manufactured by machine A. 5 percent they say probability that the bolt is, bolt is defective such that it came from machine A is 5 upon 100. 
probability that the bolt is defective such that it came from machine 2 is 4 by 100 probability that the bolt is defective such that it came from machine 3 is 1 by 100 now just put it in it's 2 by 100 okay fine so 2 by 100 just put it in put in all the values so pe2 is what 35 upon 100 into ae2 is 4 by 100 e1 is 25 by 100 into 5 by 100 plus and don't fiddle with these don't start cancelling them why because then you will land with different lcms right different denominators no point doing that 25 into that 25 into 5 plus 35 upon 100 into 4 upon 100 plus 40 upon 100 into 2 upon 100 now what is that uh, this is 140 this is 125 plus 140 plus 80 why because all their denominators they vanish suddenly right denominators will be 10,000 in both the cases hmm? so actually it will be this divided by 10,000 here also it will be this divided by 10,000 okay okay so so it gives me here I, I'm doing here 140 divided by 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 220 345 three, so that gives me 28 28 by 69 isn't that hmm. that is a probability so it is it is why i am saying that because it is so mechanical it will mechanically solve the problems for you you have to be only careful about selecting your partitions and understanding what is a rest everything is done by equations you will find there are very rare cases where your thought your common sense can be given a go by and you rely on the equations so this is one of those equations otherwise you have to think 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 okay even while applying a formula which to apply but here you do not have to you just have to identify what is a immediately whatever is being asked you know that becomes your okay. keep that in mind that becomes your one of the events right that will be one of the partitions whatever is being asked is the partition whatever is has occurred is a and immediately you will be able to solve it immediately get it that is base for you tomorrow we will start the random variable and we will finish it so come prepared for a for a 4 hour lecture tomorrow <laughs>